Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at Motorcycle Live 2022, and I'm at what is probably the moodiest, darkest stand here at the show, and behind me is Harley Davidson. They have a huge number of bikes that are in here, uh, all sorts of different models of mostly cruisers, as you would expect. Um, I'm gonna try and go through and show you some of them. I'm not gonna try and talk through any of them because frankly, I'm just not that familiar with their catalog and I'm not really a cruiser person. Having said that, I'm sure some of you are, um, so hopefully this isn't too painful to see a, an adventure trail, ride, trail bike person uh, walking past your prides and joy uh, and not giving them the, the appropriate level of expertise that you would expect. Anyway, I can show you what the stand looks like. Hopefully I don't ruin it. So I'm gonna start with something outrageous, which is this blue and white soft tail deluxe with that massive front wheel. And oh my God, that is a lot of chrome. That is a bike that I would have zero time to clean. I know someone mentioned the other day that I should take more pride in these things, but wow, that is a job in itself. It's quite incredible. Next up, we have a Heritage Classic 114. Uh, big old windscreen, you kind of get the feeling you could ride that halfway around the world, as long as it's uh, not too bumpy, because there's not a lot of ground clearance on that. Next up, we have this Lowrider ST Performance Softtail with a pretty extreme paint job on there, um, and those big s, &S pipes down the side. I mean. Actually, you know what? I do think that looks kind of cool. Um, it's got a bit of carbon fiber in there. Uh, it's still not exactly me, but you know, I do see why that is someone's uh, perfect cup of tea. Here we have another one, and this is called El Diablo. Uh, it's for such a big bike for one person. I'm sure you could get a rear seat if you wanted one. And I think this is uh, another soft tail. But yeah, just, uh, that's just actually, that's a pretty cool paint job as well. Um, yeah, the low rider El Diablo from their Icons collection. In case you're wondering, this is number 758. Here we have a Lowrider S. So that looks looking a little bit more compact. It doesn't have the big fairing, but nevertheless, it's got that outrageous uh, air filter sticking out there on the side, which again, I quite like the look of. It's almost a little bit Mad Max, but the rest of it just looks very, very tidy in black. I think they just turned the music up, so uh, hopefully you can still hear me. Okay, so now I have another one. This one is a soft tail standard. Looks quite simple compared to the ones I've seen so far. Those big twin chrome exhausts though, just look, well, big. Right then, here we have a Sport Glide. Um, I mean, looking at that, my, my thinking is that that is a bit more glide than Sport, but still, I think it's like an 1850 cc V twin. I mean, you just look at the size of that thing. That is just monstrous. But you know, quite practical, it's got some luggage and even the pillion gets a backrest. Right, here we have a breakout. So this looks like it's getting a little bit bigger, a little bit fancier, albeit a, a naked bike. Um, so yeah, no screen or fairing or anything on that. A lot of chrome, 114 cubic inch, big V twin. It does have a very narrow pillion seat. I guess that's for a much smaller pillion. But you know what, you just look at the state of that back tire and um, yeah, you really cannot help but appreciate that. Uh, belt drive on this side. And then yeah, just a big, a big chrome uh, crankcase on the left side there. And up here in the middle, we have a fat boy with a 114 cubic inch. Again, and you look at this, in fact, you know what? I really appreciate the engineering on that front wheel. That looks like that's just cut from a single block. And yeah, just so much chrome so much chrome that that bike is just so so over the top now in the middle here um, I don't know if you've seen any of the uh, the bagger racing I remember seeing one of these flying around Laguna Seca and actually that is really tripped out I mean considering it's got the bagger luggage on the back you've got the the Olin suspension adjustment in there and then that big screaming eagle exhaust down the side and actually you look at there's some serious work that has been done here uh, to that engine yeah. Can 131 be the, the, the cubic inch? 131R it says on there. And yeah, even coming up looking here, there are a lot, a lot of trick bits in there. I'll give you a look around the front. Um, I don't think this is a bike you can just buy. Uh, yeah, in fact, having just read the panel, this is the 2022 King of the Baggers HD Screaming Eagle factory race bike and it is indeed 131 cubic inch. This thing makes about 176 newton meters of torque, which is about 130 foot pounds and 140 horsepower, which is 104 kilowatts. Wow, I mean, that does look really, really serious. 
Here we have the Road King Special, which is 114 cubic inch, another big twin as they all are. Uh, this one's the bagger in sort of quite a subtle uh, green colour. Yeah, I mean, I guess that looks a little bit simpler perhaps, but I'm sure it isn't. They come at a very reasonable price. <clears throat> now, I mean, wow, so this is the uh, CVO Road Glide. I mean, that the road presence you must get from that must be just incredible. But then this costs nearly £38,000. I mean, that is, that is big money for any bike. I mean, on the plus side, you do get a lot for it. This one's got a 117 cubic inch engine, which is extremely shiny in there. I'm sure someone can tell me a lot more about that. It does say Screaming Eagle on it, which I guess means it's special. I think these are actually speakers uh, that are in the, in the rear bags. You know, some tunes while you're riding. Who needs Bluetooth, eh? Go around the back, it's got the double seats. And actually, you know what? That cockpit just looks quite imposing as it is. Right then, the last ones, and these are ones that the bikes people are actually interested in or they're gonna turn off at this point. So if air-cooled Harley's your thing, uh, please excuse this bit. So this is the Pan America. This is the liquid-cooled uh, B-Twin, uh, 1250cc. And I've ridden one of these on-road and off-road. And you know what? For a first go on an adventure bike, I think they've done a great job. Um, it's not exactly for me. Not quite sure I'm ready to replace my GS with this yet. Uh, having said that, BMW have been working on the GS for over 40 years uh, to get where they are now, and this was Harley Davidson's first go. Um, yeah, I mean, I took up on knobbly tires around the adventure trail at the ABR Festival. I only dropped it once, uh, but it was some very, very slippery mud. Uh, but yeah, interesting bike. We have two more versions of it, two different colorways, uh, with some less adventure-looking luggage, and then the very and then the very last bikes we have here at Harley Davidson is we've got a couple of the new sports dress with that same liquid cool 1250 engine. It's got a slightly different tune to the Pan America. I don't think it has the variable valve timing on them. Um, I've ridden one of these. Uh, it pulls like a train, uh, which is great if you've got some trains to pull. Uh, I found that for the Peak District roads, um, I needed a bit more suspension and that front wheel, though it looks absolutely awesome, that, that front wheel turns in uh, on my little country lanes about as well as you expect it would. Last bike we have here is the new uh, smaller Sportster. So this is the new 975 Sportster, uh, which has just recently been launched. You know, I think that's quite tidy. Um, it's bell drive. I think this is a, if you're looking to get into Harleys and you don't want to spend all the money on something um, that's, uh, well, the price of a car. Uh, you know, even, let's face it, a 975cc V-Twin is hardly a, uh, a subtle bike, but that actually looks really nice. And this one's got the 975cc version of the Revolution Max engine, which I think makes around 90 horsepower. So there you have it, that is my quick run round a lot of models here on the Harley Davidson stand at Motorcycle Live 2022. I hope that's been interesting to those of you who, uh, well, just wanted to see what they have here. I'm sure if you're a Harley owner, I can only apologize. I'm sure I haven't done it justice. But this bike in particular, I think looks awesome. It's a king of the baggers race bike behind me. So I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out my other content from Motorcycle Live and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.